Hi there everyone, it's Cameron here, also known as Just a Lone Gamer, here on behalf of CNSX Gamers, and I have an educational video here on how to play Alice Madness Returns. For more videos in this series, visit the playlist on our channel at www.youtube.com forward slash CNX Gamers then view our video playlist on the side. And don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe to this video. And so we're back in the hall with the usual advice that a woman's pearly whites are some of her greatest weapons and that she should try to trade it in whenever she can for more effective weapons. We've already picked up our old friend the uh horse of some kind weapon reminds me of the croquet mallet you could get in I can't remember what the name of the original Alice PS1 or PS I think it was PS1 game but you could get like a croquet mallet I knew I could hear a pig I was afraid that you know it was actually just me snorting down the Snorting down the mic, having heard a particularly funny joke. You know how you go, haha, <laughs> kind of thing. I just assumed that possibly that was happening. Because I had this, had heard this rather interesting joke, but as we find, not all jokes are appropriate. As it happens, I can't remember this joke, so I wouldn't be able to tell you if it was appropriate or not. Just wondering about these fish with the uh, glowy things on top of their heads. How I I know how they're meant to work. There's a fish like that, which I which exists in. They say there's fish like that deep, deep under the wall, under the sea. You know, in you know, um, light penetrates the sea, uh, the ocean bed for a certain distance. So I think something like. Um, after 20 meters, light doesn't penetrate further into the sea. That's why um, when you look out from the coast, first the water is like a light blue or see-through, then it gets dark and dark and dark, and then after like half a mile maybe, the water suddenly looks like it's black. That's because light can't penetrate all the way to the bottom, so the water looks darker. Now, in the matter of the sea, those fishes with the glowy things. Never saw a bottle of gin she couldn't empty in an hour. Do most anything for rubbins and a long taste of blue ruin. Work by the light basically luring other types of fishes to swim towards them, and then when they get close enough, the fish just eats it. That's why it's got all the sharp, jagged teeth for crunching the fish's bones and such forth. It's quite a group. Quite an interesting way of them is basically using the, you know, we talk about the carrot and stick method. It's basically using the carrot method. You draw them in. So he it, essentially it's a natural fishing because the fish has got the bauble thing on the end of its head. In the same way, you have a fishing rod that has a hook on the end. That thing hangs out. Fish goes for it. You go for the fish. It's, it may even be where we got the idea of fishing from in the first place. I doubt it because the thing leaves, lives thousands of... hundreds of leagues under the sea. So we would only, we only find it now because we are able to go that far underwater with submarines and the like. Or find the ancestor fish's uh, bones to confirm it. I am wondering for a second if, because that thing counts one, two, that there may be more platforms zoomed to five. But I guess that snouts it. Mm. 
that looks a bit like it's trying to draw your eyes to that little piece. I bet, in, yeah, I thought there would be a mushroom jumper. Considering this is a secret room hidden by the pig snout, I would have thought there would be better treasure down here. Under Darcy. Okay, that was a bit late on my Jaws song there, but you see where I was going. I only thought those slugs couldn't attack your little form, but I guess they can. It was about time we saw where this slide went. I'm thinking if that's like a pig's nose that down there, but I guess I can't hear it, so... Let's just ride through it and see what it is. Okay, that must be corruption or something like that. Like a pile of corruption that reminds us all of a pile of something similar. But not necessarily as sanitarily clean. So we'll try and avoid that and it damaging Alice's dress. This slide, I don't know how it could have formed, even with like the ramp sides as well. I mean, this is formed supposedly out of pure ice. But I thought ice went down like a gravity thing. Not a twisting river that has nothing underneath it. It's like, rather than the river l dr drying up to leave behind the riverbed, the land has, a r has um, dried up or eroded away, leaving behind the frozen ice bed. Very strange system going. I think the coast is clear. Can even travel through ice. I keep forgetting it's a level 4 knife, ain't it? Now I got more than enough health roses to allow him to even throw his weapon, his attacks at me and ignore them basically. Just continue firing. I know it said the horsey thing is for breaking through defensive blocks, but that, you don't need to block when you got this much health. Look at that, just got it all back pretty much. I believe that was Diglitz, which somehow managed to take away the wall there. Oh, I thought that was another slide, I was hopeful. That kind of reminds me of so many fantasy plot twister tales where, you know, it's like... Well, let's look at Doctor Who-wise. It looks um, smaller on the outside, but bigger on the inside. I don't know if that was originally made as an innuendo. <laughs> what does a typhoon have in common? It's powerful, it's dangerous, it's destructive, it's cruel, or it's all of them. <laughs> I knew first first time I looked at this, it's got to be all of them, but typhoon doesn't mean to be, because typhoon's a natural occurrence. The Queen is not. And if you know the Queen of Hearts, you would know that, ironically speaking, she is not a very lovable person who doesn't appear to have a heart, treats you cruelly, has a lot of power because she's a queen, a lot of clout. Not a very likable person in any sense of the word. 
Kind of makes Alice seem like an anti-monarchist. Can you imagine Alice in the 1980s punk rock? You know what? With her hairstyle, I reckon you probably could. She looks like the type, only in the wrong dress wear. I mean, the dress looks a bit more blue than uh, punk rockers. Plus, she doesn't appear to have any piercings. Don't know if that's synonymous with punk rockers. I knew I could hear another snout. I hope we don't have to get more teeth. I've been waiting for memory. The memories on these things are so interesting. Not like the ordinary run the mill ones. Properly interesting memories these are. Although I imagine the main storyline was more interesting. Says to Dr. Bundy, I says, model making's all fine and good, but a waste of a perfectly good bottle. I could fill it with gin for thruppets. Oh, we knew the crazy old lady had a drinking problem. How, I don't see how, using a different method of recycling, I mean, she's basically just transferring gin from another device to a different bottle, and somehow that is cheaper. Just sell the bottle and you'd have enough for the gin. It only costs like half a pence to fill up a bottle, then buy the crate and sell the bottle for fraud. Three pennies. It's not entirely mathematically sound, but I think you're looking at more than three times whatever you were going to get just for hanging on to the bottle. And that prim or crazy alcoholic old lady, if she had her mind in the game, she'd know that. <laughs> 